Good morning. Christ is risen. Today is May 12th. That's a Tuesday as I look at my calendar. Sometimes it's hard to remember what day of the week it is uh, during these, these days because everything has changed. But what hasn't changed is that our God is with us. He leads us by his word. He hasn't abandoned his church. And the truth of Jesus Christ crucified for our sins and risen from the dead never is going to change. That's our bedrock. That's our foundation. And that is our hope. We're doing devotions from the book of Acts here over the next, boy, about five months. And we're in chapter 3 this week. And we're going to be looking at verses 6 to 10 today. Chapter 3 has the account of Jesus bringing healing to a man who had been crippled from birth through the apostle Peter. And Peter and John are walking into the temple when they meet this man. And that's what we looked at yesterday. So he... uh, He was looking at them and expecting something from them, some money, right? So here's what happens today. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. I got to thinking as I was looking at this text, in a way how similar it is to what's going on right now. What are we looking for, many of us in our society today? What what are people looking for? to the government for? They're looking for money, right? Business owners are applying for small business loans because they're not open and they have employees and expenses, you know, rent and so on. They have no income. Uh, Families are looking for money because parents have been laid off or have had greatly reduced hours and children um, need shoes and clothes and food. Uh, And so many of us are looking for money, looking for help uh, from the government. And that's what this man was doing. And, and, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you were like uh, incredibly wealthy and you could just maybe adopt some, maybe there was a a restaurant, maybe you had a favorite restaurant, you were incredibly wealthy and you could sort of adopt them and you, you had billions in the bank and you could say, you know, for the next three months, I'm going to pay all your full salaries. That would be great, wouldn't it? You'd you'd make the business owner happy. The employees would have money. It it would be fantastic. You could save a business from going out of business. You could keep families from entering poverty. It would be fantastic. But we can't really do that, can we? There's just too many people in need, not enough money to go around. But believers have something to give that is far more valuable. So Peter and John, walking into the temple, spoke to this man. Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And so what did Peter have? Peter had a relationship with the living God through Jesus Christ. Somehow the Holy Spirit led him to uh, bring healing to this man. And uh, Peter makes it very plain that Jesus is the one who did the healing. He'll talk about that later in the the chapter. But he says, in the name of Jesus... Okay. Hang on. Looks like I'm having YouTube problems with my audio. Uh, So, sorry YouTubers, I'll post the video later. I'll grab it from Facebook. We'll have have better audio. Um, But anyways, what what Peter gives to this man is a connection with Jesus. And you'll note that after the man is healed, he goes from being outside the temple courts to inside. His his illness, his being crippled, had kept him out of the temple, and now he was brought into the temple. And so, as much as you or I might want to save some business by giving them money... We have something even more valuable. We have the gospel, the good news that God loves us in Jesus Christ. And that is something very, very powerful. Don't ever underestimate that. 
So today, as you uh, walk and uh, in your neighborhood and as you do electronic media, as you talk with people on the phone, however you may have contact, recognize you have something powerful to give. It's, it's the hope and message of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Jesus, you have given us the greatest gift of all in yourself. And while we may not have money to help people like we would wish, help us to remember that we have the greatest treasure of all, a relationship with you, and we can share that with other people. In Jesus' name, amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Have a great day in the Lord.